Welcome back to another beautiful day on the JH Diesel channel. We are going to be out on the water today testing out our new setup on our airboat. So kind of when you make a big adjustment like this on the boat, there's a lot of things you got to play that play a factor in it. Airboats, they don't have a transmission. They have a gearbox which drives the prop. So if you look back on this boat, we have an Oxbox gearbox 2.68 um, and then we have a three blade prop. Now they have several different styles of props on these things. You've got eight blades, they've got th two blades, they've got four blades. This is um, a uh, 78 inch um, uh, Sensenich uh, JR. I have a JX and a J, this is the JR. So this is the JR. And basically it's a little bit of a lighter, I don't wanna say it's a race prop, but it's supposed to be a little lighter. Uh, than the JX and supposed to basically have a little bit more power when you put the JRs. Depends on the boat. Everything changes setup. So there's a gear driven gearbox or a gear uh, gearbox here that reduces your gear. It does gear reduction because these props are only made to spin a certain RPM. So basically what you got to do is anytime you do a big adjustment like we did to the boat, which we have fresh poly on the boat on the bottom, fresh polymer, which is basically this similar stuff they have on jet boats and that kind of stuff so we just had that put on so we're gonna have to adjust our hole this hole is a very short hole so it needs quite a bit of adjustment sometimes but not like a half a turn on a, these bolts will make this thing ride completely different it'll go on the nose it'll go basically ride in the back what we try to do is is have probably the front half of the boat out of the water and just cruising where there's less drag in the water just like regular boat, you know, you get up on plane, trim it up. But anyways, so, and also a big thing is, is I'm going to go out there and we are going to check our prop. We do that by RPM. So if I'm pushing like my, my ideal RPM on this boat is about 6,000. So at about 6,000 RPM, that's kind of the ideal RPM for this boat, wide open throttle. So if I'm turning like 62, 64, I'm not really making power up in that range. So what you do is you pitch the prop more, that brings your RPMs down. That's really the only way that you can adjust that like you would transmission gear ratios, um, other than the prop ratio. But as far as actually, you know, loading the motor, that's really the only thing that you can do. So we're gonna go out there. I'll show you guys how to adjust the hole and then how to adjust the prop. And uh, I use an angle finder at the end of the prop. So you get everything perfect. The numbers on the inside, they actually have numbers over here. They're normally very, very difficult to get perfectly lined up. So what you what is better to do, in my opinion, you get a more accurate reading. If I put an angle finder at the prop, it, I basically turn the prop to here, put my blade where I want it, turn the next one to here, put the blade where I want it, and I'll go, you know, one degree or two degrees or whatever we end up having to do. So hopefully with the fuel injection, we're making a little bit more power. Don't know if we're going to or not, but hopefully we do. So let's get out to the river, get this thing dialed in, Get the old airboat back up how it should be. So I got the monitor hooked up. We're going to start getting this thing to learn. Basically just do some typical driving styles and you get this thing to learn the system. And then once we get the computer to learn, uh, do a couple wide open throttle runs. And then at that point we can start doing our adjustments. So we're going to rip it and see what happens. So far, so good for the most part. This computer's still in the learning process, so I'm just trying to run the boat, get it dialed in. Everything else, though, seems like it's okay, um, except for, of course, like I said, guys, in the last video, I got kind of screwed on this thing, and the guy that re-welded this hole and stuff and was supposed to 
fix all the leaks. We got to still have a leak right here. So no worries. Me and Justin just got our uh, HTP welder hooked up, our TIG welder. So we're going to redo all that, fix his mess, because obviously uh, pretty sour about it. Pretty, uh, pretty crappy deal, this whole situation with my bow that happened. So uh, anyway, so we're going to get back and we'll fix that little leak I still got. That was supposed to be fixed when the bottom was off the boat. No big deal. So what I'm going to do is go back now. We'll learn a little bit more. I'm going to go back to a spot that we know that's kind of flat. I'm going to adjust the bottom of the hole. Um, right now, kind of sitting on an angled hill. So I don't really trust this part right here. I do want something where it's flat. And it's hard to do on the trailer because when the boat sits on the rails, it's kind of the same situation where some of it's up off the ground, some of it's not So on the trailer. So I'm going to go back there. We'll adjust the hole. I'll show you guys how to do that. And then uh, hopefully get this thing riding off the nose as much and get it out of the water a little bit so she can be a little rocket ship. But uh, back to our next spot. And uh, hopefully this thing holds up and everything's run-wise. So, so far, so good. So I'm um, happy with that. So let's get back there. All right. So what we have here in the bottom of the hole, I um, can't remember what they call them. But uh, either way, we're going to adjust these right here. So kind of sucks getting in here. This boat's a little tight down here. But... I don't know if you're uh if you can see me or not so right here what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen the top bolt and then I'm basically going to loosen that up and that's going to let the bottom fall and then what I'm going to do is run the bottom nut in there's nuts all on the bottom and that's going to basically come up and it'll push the bottom of the hole down to try to get the hole more out of the water so it's not too hard to do basically you just you basically just snug these up and you can do one turn two turns whatever down here and basically you just that's how you do it i'll usually do it like by half a turn at a time this boat's a real short boat but um and basically it'll push the hole down get the front of the nose out of the water a little bit more the only disadvantage of that you can sometimes do it too much and the boat will porpoise real bad this boat does not have a trim tab it's never needed a trim tab the gentleman that built the boat knew what he was doing with these bottoms and i mean he's he's a wizard at it so um that's why uh you really these boats don't have a trim tab it has a brake now because i do plan to put more power to it but uh i'll show you guys a little process here right now so basically i'll loosen the top see i'll loosen that right up and i'm gonna take the bottom and i'm gonna neutral the bottom out and i'm gonna do it with all of these not just this one but all of them so basically see how i had tension there so now what I'm going to do is run all these out and start from scratch and start tuning my hole. See, that was just barely snug. I think before I had about a turn in all of them. This one's completely loose. Like I said, the guys that did the bottom on this boat were clowns. So. All right, so uh, I went a little too much. It started porpoising pretty good on us. So what I'm going to do is I turned them a full turn, tightened up to the hole. So now I'm gonna probably back it off about a quarter of a turn. So once I back it off a quarter of a turn, I think we're gonna be perfect and the hole should be set up and dialed. I'm gonna do the lock nuts down and everything once I do a quarter of a turn. So should be dialed, should be good to go. And uh, you know, we'll uh, hope for the best. So far, engine's running good. It spits and sputters. Dr. Tunamal said, probably gonna do that until we get her really dialed in. So once I, uh, he had to go to uh, Georgia, so once I get this thing um, back, I'll get it over to Dr. Kumal, let him give me a file for it or run a file for it, and uh, we'll get everything dialed in that way. So otherwise, check it out, and then we'll get the boat on the water, and uh, hopefully it runs good.
So we're out here on the river. We found us a booster boy. What are you doing over here? Wait, wait, what are you doing? I was just, you know. What are you doing? Adding a couple pounds of boost. Dude, dude, I got a. We got a race coming up. I got so. a naturally aspirated, big, heavy airboat over there. You're turning your boost up? I mean, dude, a race is a race. You gotta, you gotta try to win, man. This is true. What do we got on the line here? Um, This is our. Are, are you talking like wager? Like, well, I was talking wager, but what do we got? What am I racing here? What All do we right, got? So this is our uh, custom jet stream boat. You guys have seen a lot of them on YouTube. Ours has a Honda G series in it, and uh, oh, a little turbski back there. Like it's a Honda. Yeah, that's a Honda car engine that we bolted in the back of the jet boat. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So it runs off gas. Uh, it's on E85, but yeah. E85. E85. And it's four cylinders. Four cylinder. Two, two things. Liter. Two things that I just do not like. <laughs> four cylinders and gas. Are you trying to tell me the airboat's running on diesel Look, over there? Look, all I'm saying is I got a gas airboat, but it's got eight cylinders, okay? We're in America, and we do eight cylinders in America. Well, I'd love to see you try to fit eight in there. That was as many as we could fit. Dude, I don't know, man. I think you could do it. I, I potentially to. think. I think you'd have to lose the four-seater, though. Yeah, you got you know you gotta get rid of the four seats but so this is gonna be a good race we'll see what happens i've never raced much of anything so we just got my boat tuned as you guys know actually we don't have it tuned we have it running and the hole is kind of tuned so we're gonna go do a drag race see what happens Absolutely. I think it'd be a good race. She bogged down. You saw it. I was like to the woods. And yeah. Cats were gone. All right. So we took off on that one. The boat sputtered real bad. Let's hope for a better turnout in the second run because that was pathetic. All in all, our boat testing went good. We got the hull dialed in. On top of that, we got our brake working. We got the um, tuning. Mm, we gotta get her tuned up. Uh, obviously, you can tell off the line. And I'm talking to tune them all. 
He said, man, it's going dead lean off the line. So we'll get all ironed out and dialed in and hopefully have us a nice fuel injected ripper. So thanks again, guys, for watching the JG channel. We'll see you next time.